Hey guys, we're still at HQC 2021, what I'm calling ToyotaCon. Tons of Toyota Lexus vehicles. This here has been something very special for us. This guy's is a BZ4X concept, but it's concept kind of name only. This design's going to be very, very similar to what you guys see from the production version coming next year. Uh, it has been confirmed coming mid-2022. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get any chip delays or, or any other production shortages. Uh, affecting that but this thing looks like it's ready to go the design is incredible uh, starting with the front end here they're calling this kind of like the hammerhead design in the front so very streamlined kind of like that you know the, the hammerheads have the eyes on the end that's what they're kind of trying to depict here now these headlights a little bit lexus like the triple beams they're beautiful now as we step back you might be saying hey this this kind of design looks familiar well crossovers are the name of the game but this vehicle right here it's supposed to be RAV4 size, actually a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, I think, in some ways. But to me, I mean, it makes sense. If you want to be in the most competitive segment, and that is the RAV4, the RAV4 is the best-selling vehicle that's not a pickup truck in America. So bringing an electric vehicle to that segment is a very smart move by Toyota. And check out these wheels, man. These look like 20s. I haven't, I haven't got close, but we've got blue calipers kind of signifying that this is a green vehicle, if that makes sense. I know blue and green, but blue is kind of the uh, unanimous color for being eco-friendly. As you guys know, the Prius and all the hybrid synergy drive has always been accented with blue. Now coming around to the back, these, these taillights might be even cooler than the, the, the headlights. I mean, that wraparound is very unique, almost like a boomerang style. And the BZ4X, you're going to see a lot of BZs. It's supposed to be seven BZ models coming in the coming years. I believe by 2025, we'll have seven BZ models globally, worldwide. Uh, you don't see any exhaust tips down there. That's strange on a Toyota, right? Kind of have a dual spoiler going on here on the deck lid. And these things have to be aerodynamic. This is uh, being claimed to have really good range, very competitive range, very competitive capabilities now the all-wheel drive system has been worked on with subaru for this etnga platform toyota subaru developing this platform as well as uh, i think uh, daihatsu is in there as well i won't be surprised if mazda wants to use it one day they're all kind of in the same group but this vehicle having that all-wheel drive capability of a subaru and just kind of the uh winning formula of the rav4 built into this this electrified vehicle Hey guys, real quick, wanted to give you a brief look at the interior. And this is still a concept, keep that in mind. Everything you see in here is <laughs> subject to change, but looking at it, guys, this looks every bit as uh, real world as it's probably gonna be when it comes out. Now, I'm not allowed to sit in this vehicle. I know some people have, but uh, not really <laughs> kosher. Uh, but this steering wheel, has uh, a very futuristic look to it. It doesn't look like any other Toyota steering wheel. And we see these buttons that's gonna control the screen up top. And then we see all your, uh, your radar cruise control, which who knows guys, this thing could be uh, control. You see that sensor behind the steering wheel sitting on top right there? <laughs> that could be uh, infrared sensor watching your face, making sure your eyes are on the road or checking your blind spot monitors as I found out with the Lexus teammate demonstration today. That's a safety feature built in now. I'm gonna to touch this real quick. I know I'm not really allowed to mess with this too much, but this is a very nice cloth material here. Fit and finish, even on this concept, is out of this world. Now, this piece right here, it does light up like a blue. I don't know if I can touch it. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> but this screen is huge. This looks like the 12-inch screen, but the bezels on it make it look bigger. And we see all the buttons here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll zoom in for you. You have all the buttons here that are all gonna to be touch sensitive for your climate control needs. Now, no volume knob, but we have volume buttons right there. That's the power button to turn this vehicle on. I would expect that power button to change. Uh, it doesn't look <laughs> very polished. You know, the, the, for example, the GR86 had a GR logo on it. Hopefully that we get like a BZ logo or some sort of greenified option there. But you see that, also that foot pedal. That foot pedal is going to allow you to adjust the pedals in this green new ETNGA vehicle. You have a drive knob there instead of a, sh a shifter or, a, or even the hybrid shifty knob that we all come uh, accustomed to, like in the Prius, for example. And then, of course, you're going to have uh, a parking assist and things like that. 
but it looks like a very cozy interior, very spacious. You can see the sunroof. Now, <laughs> this is where you can kind of see that this is a prototype. Uh, just that that area right there does not look uh, like it's going to come to uh, production. This is kind of confirmation that we're not going to have, as I zoom out, we're not going to have uh, a fully seamless roof. It's probably going to be bisected at the top there now. Some of you guys might be worried, like, you know, you want that, that full seamless sun sunroof right there, but, you know, Toyota often bisects it to, to give the vehicle better safety, better rigidity, and that's, that's fine with me. It's enough light to bring in for my needs. And looking down here, a couple chargers. I feel like this, this area underneath could definitely be customized in the coming years uh, with, with different chargers there. But we have USB-Cs, guys. That's, that's definitely future, future looking. There's not that many Toyota products that have USB-C integration. Now looking in the back here, look how flat this floor is, guys. And then how much leg room. I know that's hard to portray on camera. Tons of leg room between the rear seat and the front seat map pockets on each side now again <laughs> more usb c's four usb c's in a toyota guys it's definitely the future heated outboard seats on this who knows maybe we get ventilated seats on the high end or maybe they save that for the lexus end but as we we zoom out here just the the seats look like they're ready for production this vehicle is very very well polished can't wait to see the production version here in less than a year but guys i'm gonna end it there signing out from toyotacon 2021 I'd be okay if Toyota wants to, do, wants to do this every year, unveil cool cars, show us cool electrified options as well, as well as fire-breathing V8s like the IS500. I'll see you guys in the next video.